Well, I'll be damned. Hey, listen. Ooh, that's bright. Damn. It's been a minute. It's been, a, been too long. How we doing, ladies and gentlemen? Hi. It's been a minute. I haven't seen you guys since, like... Don't you dare. Last year. Get the hell out! Get out! Get out! Get out! <laughs> Nah, but honestly, in all seriousness, I hope you guys are doing good. Um, I hope you guys had a good restful holiday period. You know, 2024. Damn. How? No, sorry, let's address this. How did we go from 2019, pandemic, then it's 2024? Like, like, what? But yeah, 2024, and we're starting off with a clean slate, you know, fresh new batch of movies. I already know like, what the next four or five videos are gonna be. In, in theory, like, I have a list. I kind of just wing it when I pick my movies because for one, I don't really like planning this because then it makes it seem like a thing I have to do as opposed to just me wanting to watch films. So I have like a hat, let's say, a metaphorical hat. Let's just say this is the hat. I don't, it doesn't look like a, what is this? I mean, a hat. And I kind of like have a couple names and movies in that. And all the suggestions you guys gave me, I put in the hat. Um, so the more you suggest, the more entries it gets in the hat. See what I'm saying? And then I kind of pick out the hat and I'm like, okay, we'll be watching this today. And that's kind of how I do things. But today, I've seen a lot of suggestions for this in all the videos I've uploaded. Um, never even heard of it until I saw it in the comments. Green Mile. Green Mile? Is it Green Mile, bitch? Yeah, Green Mile is Green Mile. Um, never even heard of this movie. I think it has, from the cover I'm looking at right now, Tom Hanks, it looks like a detective flick, so it might be something, you know, to get our minds going. One of those who did it, he say, she say, who's the real criminal. Um, Maybe it's given kind of like a Sherlock Holmes type of vibe. I don't know, he's he's wearing like a detective hat. Is that a detective hat? I don't know. You know, I love me some Tom Hanks. Sadly, I've watched a lot of his films already. Um, Obviously the classics like Toy Story, Catch Me If You Can, I think I mentioned that, the one with Leo. Um, Boris Gump, even some of his new stuff like Greyhound. But funnily enough, there is still a lot of movies that he's done that I haven't seen. But yeah, secondly, thirdly, fourthly, I don't know what ifly we are right now, but if I do sound a little nasally, you know, it's cold and flu season. For real this time, not like I, I have picked up a little something, so I am feeling a little under the weather. So if I do sound a bit like I can't breathe, it's because I kind of can't sometimes. But without further ado, for the first time in 2024, drum roll, please. That's my glasses, shit. There we go. Roll tape. Oh, the old uh, Warner Brothers intro. Oh, this movie's old as old as shit. When did this come out? 1990 something. I don't know whether uh, the 990 something. 999 was it? Also, Rock Entertainment. Why does that sound familiar? When is this set? Okay, this is kind of loud. My fault, my fault. Let's turn this down. Are they looking for, are they looking for something? Is this a POV? Is this someone's viewer watching? Okay, this is a... Okay, they're looking for something, someone. With the pitchforks and stuff. What's going on? The greyhounds in the background, yeah? Okay, okay, this is a hunt. This is a hunt for real, for real. What did he say? You love your sister, son, 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 son. Are you calm that shit back, bro? It looks good. Bro. He looks kind of like that old guy from the grandparent for Meet the Robinsons. I think it was his, his adoptive parents. I might have just made that up in my head. More than this edge come. Just two pieces of dry toast take to things. Leftovers fine. Dry and cold. Same as always. Cold as manner. Hmm. Especially on those long walks. Don't let Nurse Godzilla catch you. She'll raise holy hell. Nurse Godzilla. Where do you go every day? What do you do up in those hills? Okay, so he goes off grid. I like to walk. Walk is good for you. Good for your joints. Fall down, bust a hip. I want to be no damn search party. Okay, he's got good report with the... I'm guessing this is a care home. With the folks here. And he's off. Terrible care home security, bro. Terrible. 
He didn't even sneak or tiptoe. Broad daylight. He, he's not even wearing like dark. This is a fluorescent raincoat. Oh, his toes is dry. Oh, yeah. He takes it on his walk. Oh, he's got his own place? Yeah, he's not a good no, father. No, it's not. The, it's not. She can't answer it's not. Jerry Springer. Why do we always watch this stuff? Good ass question. Bunch of inbred trailer trash. All they ever talk about is fucking. Hey, he's got a point. Watch him put on football or something. Oh, no, right. Take my husband, take my kids. But Are you all right? Them. He seems troubled. I just didn't sleep well, so. Oh, bless him. Now, this here is worth a look. Oh, he's a rom com kind of guy. Or oh, just a musical? Oh, he remembers the song. Oh, he remembers this song. Like, this is what's going on, old man. Oh, bless him. He seems like he's a mysterious character. He's a mysterious fellow. Who clearly has a lot on his mind or plate. Which can't be good for his health at his old age. I haven't spoken of these things for a long time, Ellie. Is this his wife? I'm your friend. Oh, friend. Okay, his name's Paul. I ever tell you that I was a prison guard during the Depression? Did I mention that I was in charge of death row, that I supervised all the executions? Holy shit. The Great Depression, that's like 1930s, isn't it? 1940s? I don't, I don't know. Um, supervising executions, bro. Why would you not be traumatized? Like, the fuck? Death row is called the last mile. We called ours the green mile. Oh, sh okay. The floor was the color of faded limes. We had the electric chair. Oh, Sparky. We called electric chair? Oh, I've lived a lot of years, Ellie, but 1935, that... Yeah, it was the 30s. That year, I had the worst urinary infection of my life. It was also the year of John Coffey. John Coffey? Yeah, sorry, calling an electric chair old Sparky is nuts. Literally nuts. So, Great Depression, 1935, he was on... Death row oversaw executions. I'm no, you know, psychiatrist, but that's a potent recipe for PTSD. The entire world's depressed, and then you work in a what do you call it? Then you work on death row. That's like depressed on steroids. Not that sound weird, but I feel like they don't make films like this anymore. Like I know I'm only what. 10 minutes in but like this i don't know but like this pace is it just me i feel like our films are a lot faster now like they're spending a lot of time painting the picture it's only been 10 minutes but they've been like this is the guy this is this, this, this. i don't know it's just like it's gonna be a slow burner which i like because i've got time um it's just made me comfortable like i'm i'm settling in to watch it if that makes sense yeah with, with the dialogue phones Well, I can see the green fool, like he was saying. I don't know if this is what he was referring to specifically, but the green tile. <laughs> you good, bro? Ooh. Oh, yeah, he's, he's pissing blades. Yeah, his shit. Yeah, he's burning, bro. Yeah. You're right in there. <coughs> oh, man. Pissing razor blades, yeah. Mm, pissing razor blades, I told you. Yeah, put that shit in rice, bro. It's not as bad as it was. I think it's clearing up. Louisiana, that's down south, isn't it? What do they do? They bust the springs. Oh, shit. Dead man! Oh, he's big. Oh. You might want to reconsider getting in the cell with this guy. He's enormous. Can't be bigger than you. <laughs> he's like, he's like, for real, for real? How's he gonna fit through the door, even? We got a dead man walking here. Oh, he's huge, bro. What are they feeding you? Everything? Bro, what? Can you talk? Oh, 
Oh, oh, this is, this is um, Michael Duncan, isn't it? I recognize his face and his voice. I think he's done a lot of voiceover work. Um, I think he was the inspiration for and the voice actor for Bubbles in Lilo and Stitch. You know, Ohana, Ohana means family. Family means no one gets left behind. That stuff. Um, he was in Kung Fu Panda too, because I remember that he was the god of you know when Tai Long was getting f um, freed from prison. And he's like, yeah, no one's ever escaped here in two million years. Blah, 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 blah. And then Tai Long escapes. And also, he was also Kingpin in Daredevil. That's where I know him from. He's late now, isn't he? He's passed in the original Daredevil, sorry. He's late now, though. He's passed on, hasn't he? I think, if I remember correctly. Oh, rest in peace, man. Damn. Oh, he looks scared shitless, even though he's this big. Let's go. Come on. Bless him, man. I wonder what he did. Percy, they're moving house down in the infirmary. Why don't you go see if they can use some help? Bro said get the fuck out of here. I don't care where you go, Percy. Just the moment's not here at this very moment. Hey, Percy, small man syndrome. That's the vibes, and that's the vibes you're giving. <laughs> Did not. God damn it, Percy! Get the hell off my block. That was on cold rule. Uh -huh. So Percy, he's a prick. I let Harry take those chains off you. You're gonna be nice. It doesn't. He's not. He doesn't. He's not given any threatening. Other than his size, he seems pretty calm. Your name is John Coffey. Yes, sir, boss. Like to drink, only not spelled the same. Oh, you can spell, can you? John Coffey. My name, boss. Oh, bless him. Questions. Do you leave the light on after bedtime? Cause I get a little scared in the dark sometimes. Stays pretty bright here all night long. Oh, he's huge. I didn't even know he was this huge in real life. Like, I knew he was a big guy, but Jesus Christ. Is he retarded, you figure? Mm -hmm. Looks like they send us an imbecile to execute. Imbecile or not, he deserves to fry for what he done. What did he do? Jesus Christ, come on. <laughs> I'm getting no violent vibes from him. What? God's sake, what? The girls! The girls are gone! Papa, Papa, look! Daddy's blood! He killed little girls? What? He had a whip! Central, are you on the line? Oh God, please. Somebody do my little girls. They had a guess. Was that him, I'm guessing? Okay, this was the intro scene. It was a manhunt, okay. the hell Jesus oh my god what the hell what did he do what bro nah what did he snap their necks I, I couldn't help it I tried to take it back but it was too late tried to take it back take what back I interrupt no, just about done Jesus Christ. How's that pretty gal of yours? Melinda's not so well, Paul. Not so well at all. Is he like the lawyer in... in... I'll be taking over to Vicksburg next day or so for some tests. She is scared to death. Oh, bless her, man. Truth to tell, so am I. Everyone here is sick. He's pissing blades. She has a headache. That guy's got a broken arm. Like, what's going on? True, you ordered Percy Wetmore off the block? It is. Like it or not, the wife of the governor of this state has only one nephew. Oh. Percy's a prick. He's got family in powerful places. Interesting. He also mentioned he assaulted a prisoner this morning at a ship petulance. Broke three fingers in Edward Delacroix's left hand. I didn't hear that part. Of course she didn't. Sure she didn't either. The man is mean and careless and stupid, and it's a bad combination in a place like this. 
<laughs> the lady's gonna get somebody hurt or worse. Stick with himself. The Pisces has an application in the Briar Ridge. The Briar Ridge? The mental hospital. Administration job. Then why is he still here? Why? <laughs> That's why it's funny. Hell, with his connections, he could have any state job he wants. You know what I think. I think he just wants to see one cook up close. Yeah, he's just a sick guy. Maybe then he'll be satisfied and move on. In the meantime, you'll keep the peace. Of course. Of course. Tom Hanks is a good actor, man. He has a really good range. Like, really good range. You give Melinda my love, okay? I'm sure that x-ray turned out to be nothing at all. That sounds ominous. It's going to be something like a brain something tumor hemorrhage. I got a new inmate today. Simple-minded fella. Do I want to know what he... Sean Coffey, this is the big guy, the, what, what would I call it, the contrast, the juxtaposition, I don't know. It reminds me a lot of, I don't know if you guys have seen Of Mice and Men, George and Lenny, but more so Lenny, like the whole gentle giant, but obviously this guy is a lot bigger than Lenny, I'm seeing, but it's the same kind of like, from at least the first couple, at least on first, you know, introductions. I just don't see him as an aggressive person, like even from like the way he's speaking, the way he conducts himself, he seems kind of like a simple kind-hearted or not, not even kind-hearted but just a simple well-mannered like well in like well-intentioned person i don't know like i just don't know because if look if he's that big and meant to do it he'd be causing hell in that prison cell but he's kind of like sat just chilling shook the guy's hand that kind of stuff so yeah i don't know things that happen in this world it's a wonder god allows it oh he's just traumatized by literally the story he saw about the john coffee guy I mean, yeah, that's dark, man. Have something. Help you sleep. Mm. You can have all you want. Still got something wrong with my waterworks. I don't want to pass it on to you. Have you seen Dark Bishop yet? Oh, yeah, he's, he's still with the blades. Run its course all by itself. Thank you very much for your concern. I don't think it's a regular stuff, bro. Get that checked. Look again. Is it right? There. All right. It ain't normal for a mouse to come upon people this way. Maybe it's rabbit. Oh, oh yeah, Christ. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Big mouse expert. He's right, though. He's gonna get bit, isn't he? See, bro's gonna leave and come back with all his cousins, sisters, nephew, nieces. All right. Go get the damn mouse. What's a restraint roll? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Watch dogs. Watch dogs. They brought everything out the restraint room just to check with this one mouse. Oh, they're gonna, gonna get locked in. Surely not. You let him get past you. No, I did not. I've been here all the time. Where the hell is he? Bright side is, all this commotion probably scared him off for good. Yeah, that, that's the last we'll see of him. <laughs> He's back. You little son of a bitch. Oh, they found the rock. There he is, big as Billy Befrigged. I thought Brutal was pulling my leg. <laughs> give him some room, Percy. Huh? Yeah, see what he does. All right. He's not going to give him some room. He's going to kill the mouse. Why don't they? Why don't they just catch it and? The bastard, gotta give him that. Why is everyone just feeding him, bro? This is how he keeps coming back. Yeah, he's gonna do some sick shit. <laughs> Bless me. <laughs> what the hell? Right there, you crazy, you little son of a bitch! Kill you, you. Yeah, he's nuts, bro. It'll burn me. I'm gonna stop. Bro, he is broke. I'm gonna rip your disease head off, you little piece of shit. Nah, he's got something. He's got screws missing. It's in here somewhere. I'm gonna squish a little son of a bitch. Oh, he needs to get the fuck out of here. He needs to go. He needs to go. Give him his P45. He's done. He tried that. Huh? I said that we 
No, no, no. Let, let him keep it. No, keep, keep, keep going. Knock yourself out. Yeah. Hope you nail the bastard. <laughs> yeah. Nah, look at him sweating on his own. He's properly sweating. You're also scared the living crap out of me and Bill. Not to mention the inmates. We don't scare them any more than we have to, Percy. Mm. They are not enough strain as it is. Man, Facts. strain can snap. Facts. Cells and hurt others. Facts. Better to think of this place like it's an intensive care ward of a hospital. I think of it as a bucket of piss to drown rats in. I don't like people like you. Kiss my ass. Oh. Go on, try it. You be on the bread lines before the week is out. Oh, it's the Great Depression as well. Everyone needs work and stuff. Okay. I'll put my foot in his ass. I don't care. How you treat people. How you treat people in lesser positions than you. Speaks volumes on your character. One sec, what's he saying? You ever threaten a man on this block again, we all gonna have a go. Job be damned. Mmm. Talk that shit, Paul. Talk that shit. So they called it the mile. I know he said that, but like, this is the first time I've seen him use it um, in context. Oh, your daughter and her family are here. I wonder what he did. Let's move. I want at least two rehearsals before he gets back. I'm guessing it's probably similar murder or something along those lines. Taking a seat, nose sparky. What do I do? Shut up and watch. Watch and learn. <laughs> watch and learn. <laughs> oh, he's gonna do something stupid, isn't he? Strap. Getting clamped. Getting wired. Hey, 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 uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's enough. Electrode. Hey, that's enough, bro. That you don't need to. This is just a demo. Don't make no mistake. Roll on one means I turn the generator up full. You have anything to say before your sentence is carried out? He looks familiar. No, no, no. Stop, stop. One sec, one sec. I, 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 his face. Come on. You got this, bro. You got this. Mmm. Yeah, I got nothing. I've seen him somewhere before, though. His face is... He's got, he's got one of them faces. Soak the sponge. Oh, they're gonna gag him, aren't they? Or does that to help it conduct better? Yeah, why is he putting that sponge on his head? Conducts electricity directly to the brain, fast like a bullet. Oh, I thought so. You don't ever throw the switch on a man without that. <laughs> they, they, bro, look, bro, I get this is a test demo. You don't need to tie it this tight. Nah, I, I got a bad omen. I feel like they're gonna fuck up. All I'm better buck. And kill this innocent guy. In accordance with state law. God have mercy on your soul. Amen. Amen. There's really witnesses. Is there witnesses when they euthanize people? Um. Oh, they shaved the head. Oh, wow. Damn. What did he do, though? Especially, they said he was a religious man. I can't... Why would he... This can't be easy. On the heart, on the mind. He's already in the chair. We're gonna we're gonna skip the His breathing, the fear. Oh man. Electricity shall now be passed through your body until you are dead. And the cons will stay. Why am I breathing? Fuck. God have mercy on your soul. Amen. No last words? Does he get any last words? That kind of stuff? No? They're gonna have to do it again? Fuck, this is brutal, man. What? Drop us a card from hell. Let's know if it's hot enough. Oh, he's a sick bastard. He's paid what he owed. He's square with the house again. Little shit. I want brutal spot for next execution. Seeing a man die, now that's not enough. You gotta be close enough to smell his nuts cook. You're sick, bro. And if I say no? Well, I might just stick around for good. Make me a career of this. Boss. Sick guy, man. F freak. One <laughs> 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 
<laughs> He's smart, Mr. Jangles. Mr. Jangles. That is name. He was put in my ear. Looks like it looks like the green mouse got a mascot. Wanna play fetch? Wanna play fetch? Show on a la la Fetch with the mouse? <laughs> well, I'll be down. We ought to find a cigar box and uh, get some cotton batting from the dispensary to line it with. That should do real nice. What? They'd get a cigar box. That's our character. Al, you want to see me? Yeah. Close the door. Oh, fuck. Bad news. This is his wife, isn't it? <clears throat> so you know. Oh, he's crying. You got a new prisoner coming in here tomorrow. William Wharton. Killed. Three people on the hold up. One of them, a pregnant woman. Shit. Al? You good, bro? Bro, just talk. It's just me and you. Just us three guys. Oh. Fuck, I knew it, man. A brain tumor. <sighs> we got X-ray pictures. It's the size of a lemon, they said. Deep inside, where they can't operate. For the life of me, Paul. I can't think how to tell my wife. She's going to die. Bless him, man. <laughs> yeah, you, what you got down there ain't ain't normal either, bro. This shit is getting worse. It's gonna, it's, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna be pissing blood, isn't it? Oh, back in those days, they had like an outhouse. So this is pre-plumbing and stuff. Nah, that's got to hurt. That's got to hurt. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, oh, God. Damn. Oh, God. oh, he's different. Anybody home? It's dope to the gills. Oh, they drugged him. Hellraiser, huh? Look more like a lamp noodle to me. Hey. Do you, do you always have something to say? Bro, piss. You've been declared competent, son. Mm. You know what that means? Means you're gonna ride the lightning. Mm. Yeah. No, every time he every time he leaves the toilet, he's sweating bullets. E block. E for execution, I'm guessing. Oh, this is the new inmate. Okay. Mm. Bro, what did they do to him? Or is he just acting? I don't know. They said they drugged him, so. Yeah, nah, boss, he doesn't look so good. Careful. Careful, what does he mean? Oh, he's acting. I knew it. I fucking knew it. <laughs> oh. Crown jewels. Oh, he's, he's done. He's out. He's out. He's out. That's like times 10 damage. Pissy, what, what's, what are you doing, bro? Shut up! Hit it, Percy! Oh, damn it! Come on, Percy! Percy, bro! Percy, bro! Percy, bro! You're warning me! You're warning me! Well, come on! Jesus Christ. Nah, Percy, you, you, you're done, bro. You're done, bro. We thought he was doped. He was acting. Well, I guess that's not a mistake. You've been needing to make again anytime soon, is it? How did... Wait, that big guy was saying, careful. How did he know? Could he tell? How could he tell? What? Ah, uh, I got the mile. Till you all come back. Go on, now go. He doesn't look so good. Oh, and he was meant to go to the doctors today as well. Damn. <laughs> nah, he's done. He's done. But I need to see you, boss. I need to talk to you. And he's gonna power through. See, even in, I like his character. Although, like his job is to see people are dead, he's very human. And even though he's in pain, he's kind of seen it through. And even though he's their warden, technically, in most like fictional stuff, the warden's always a bad person. Even like the comics, Amanda Waller, 
et cetera, et cetera. It's just, it's a different flip. He's like a good, honest warden, if that makes sense. He's he's not trying to antagonize the prisoners any more than they need to be or they already are. And he's just kind of, he's just a straight shooting guy, you know what I mean? Just to help. The fuck? What the hell? What the fuck is this? Somebody go! Fuck! Don't go for killing Bowser! Damn, for huh? Christ's sake, shut, shut up! Shut the fuck up. What did he do? <laughs> Mary, mother of Jesus. What? <laughs> the fuck just happened? Is it just like a prisoner? Something, something. Nah, see, okay, okay. What's gonna happen is we have to dial the fuck in. I need to, yeah. It's just something, 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 something's going on here. I don't know what it is, but let's we focus it now. What did you just do to me? You just healed him, isn't it? I just took it back, so. Off time, that boss. What the fuck? I need to hear that again. He, he took the. Didn't help he helped it. I just took it back, so. He just took it, that's all. Off the tide. The hope to. I, I, I don't know. But I did not. What? So he's got like special powers. What's this? Well, I'll be damned. <sighs> Bro's like, I can finally pee without sweating. I feel like we've just kind of skipped over the fact that that man in the prison just touched his balls and healed them. Oh, not too bad. David. What did the doctor say? Oh, now he can, that now he can, you know what I mean? Yeah, okay. This is how we're doing it, boss, okay? Oh. Oh. This is a bit TMI. You can just, you can just skip this bit, bro. We don't, we don't need the sound effects. We don't need the... Yeah. Oh, Till the sun came up? Nah, bro. That's OD. That's OD. That's OD. She looking at her lips and everything? Crazy. Well, tell me what's going on. This man in the prison, he touched me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking of taking the morning off sick. You cover the fort for me? No jobs with transients, trapping his parish. Wait. I'll offer you a cold drink. Is this the people who, uh, who lost the... Hope I'm not troubling you. Oh, um... This is his bro from Forrest Gump. He was in Forrest Gump. He was the, he was the really, was it the dumb guy? The dumber guy? Or the guy who like lost his legs in the war? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask you about one. Never seen. Oh, look at them so young. They're old now. Like Tom Hanks looks, obviously he's aged, but like Tom's old now and he is too. I forgot his name though. Like he dropped out of the sky. We're in a depression. Day of the country's out of work. People are drifting by the thousands looking for jobs. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's why there were like no jobs here, the depression. Okay, I thought it was just because um, they didn't want any like travelers in general. Everyone is entitled to defense. Well, in many ways, a good Mongol dog is like your Negro. You may get away with it once or even a hundred times. But in the end, you'll get bit. We're comparing a whole human being to a dog, bro. I mean, it was the 1930s. What do you expect? John. <laughs> Not the mouse coming to see what's going on, too. She wanted to thank you for helping me. Helping you with what? You know. Is he playing dumb on purpose or? 
Okay, he just didn't remember. Was your missus please? Several times. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> yeah! Good shot, wasn't it? <laughs> you believe this? Son of a bitch pissed on me. Nah, he's annoying. He's really annoying. But you go out on your backs, Billy the kid go. Guarantee you that. No sneaking up on me this time. We'll go man to man. Oh, they said nah, bro. <laughs> Piss on me. <laughs> uh. <laughs> nah, they dealt with him. I'm crying. <laughs> Around? Meet, find out. Here's a little cornbread, you motherfuckers. All I want me is a little cornbread. Hey, man, that's life, bro. The consequences do be consequences. Important folks heard about your mouths. Want to see him perform. Not just prison guards, either. One's a politician all the way from the state capitol, I believe. What? You fellas coming? Are they being for real? Oh, we got other fish to fry just now, Dale. But uh, you knock them for a loop, yeah? All right, let's move briskly, folks. There's not much time. Oh, man. They're doing the rehearsals. Oh, they've given him a date. I've been here for 10 years. Ain't never had to wear no damn tie before. Well, you're the VIP today, Earl. It's kind of, it's very, like, humane and warming that they do that. The practice, they kind of give him something else to go and do while they practice and rehearse and stuff like that. To not, like I say, antagonize the prisoners any more than they need to. Fair enough. I, 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 I want to know what all the other, not that like it matters because I mean they've been convicted and stuff, but I kind of want to know what they do because in the context of what we're seeing them now in the Green Mile, they just seem like regular, apart from the new guy, they just seem like regular folks. All right. Edouard Delacroix, electricity shall now be passed through your body. Oh, they're letting him go front so he can leave. You've done good, old timer. We're happy for you. <laughs> yeah, we are. Okay, you can stop talking now. I didn't mean nothing by it. I was just playing. Come on now. I was just having... Ah! 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 Oh, f sake. Here we go. He's so important. Soft like a girl. Let him go. I'd rather fuck your asshole. Then... Hey, yo. Wharton! <laughs> now he's laughing. He pissed himself. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna do something messed up when uh, during his execution. I just know it. I just know it. You talk about this to anyone, I get you all fired. What happens in a mile stays in a mile. Always has. Wetmore couldn't dance with you. <laughs> First Wetmore do a dance, listen to him squishing in his pants. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny for what it is. Oh man. How about Mouseville? Mouseville? Toys are acting down in Florida. Oh, they're lying. You think they take Mr. James? You think he's got the stuff? I mean, he is pretty smart. Oh, bless him. Up, oh, there you go. Damn, bro. Well, I knew I'd get him sooner or later. <laughs> Give him to me. Give him to me. Might still be time. Oh, shit. We about to see some real, some real crazy shit right now. The lights are going to go. They are way too calm watching this man perform literal miracles. Like, is that just me? I'd be losing my mind. I'd be screaming, shouting. I probably would have passed out. <laughs> what are these? All of these are like maggots or something? Or like, I don't, like flies? Or is it like the, the bat? I don't even know. Because I couldn't hear what you were saying. But what effect does this have on him? Is he good? Because the, they, they kind of seem to not be like a toll on all of this stuff he's doing. 
Jeez. Again, they are way too calm after just seeing. Boss Percy Bad. He me. He step on Dale Mouse. I took it back though. Keep saying I took it back though. I took it back. He took. Bro. He took it back. You come along with me. You fellas, go on back to your cribbage game. Oh, his name is Brute. Okay. <laughs> Go on. He's gonna lose his mind. These two are my favorite characters. They have kind of like a brotherly type. I I trust those guys, if that makes sense. He switched him. He switched him somehow, you bastards. I always keep a spare mouse in my wallet. <laughs> I put you out front. You put in that transfer. That's the deal. You make a promise to a man, you shake his hand. Mm. But he's a spineless coward, he's no man. Edouard Delacroix, will you step forward? Edouard Delacroix, so is he French? Is that why he was speaking French and stuff? Oh man, poor guy. Yeah, you take him, John. You take him to this foolish man, be done. Mm. Yeah. I, I thought it's crazy because I don't think he's even crying because he's about to die. I think he's crying because he's just going to miss Mr. Jingles. There's a lot of human humanity shown in in this film. You're a good man, boss. You too, boss. Mm. I sure wish I could have met you guys some ways out. Mm. Oh man. Well, it's raining and it's wet. Is that gonna affect? Good and scared. Hope he knows the fires are stoked and that Satan's imps are waiting. What did he do? Well, yeah, it's all right. Oh, bless him, man. What's he gonna do? He didn't wet it. No. Oh my goodness. That's then it's not gonna go straight to his brain. It's just gonna take forever. Nah, he's a prick, bro. Look, people like you. When I get my hands on you, it's not gonna be pretty. God have mercy on your soul. It's like he knew. Or is he gonna do something to help him? There's no trail of water. He's because he's meant to be wet usually. Oh, he realized. Round two. Oh, what? What's he doing? He could tell. Oh my goodness. Sponge is dry. Bro, what? That's, he's just burning alive. <laughs> Why is he shaking? Is he taking some of that for him? He's oh, he's, he's doing the thing. He's doing the thing. He's taking some of his pain. Is that what he's doing? <laughs> he's taking it back. Is that what he's doing? <laughs> Jesus Christ. He doesn't deserve this, man. You do it. You're running this show, ain't you? You f***ing little shit. Hey, you do what when I like prison doesn't no, that's the fire, that's the I don't... Jesus Christ. Oh my goodness. I didn't know the sponge is supposed to be wet. <laughs> Bro, I'd have, I'd have put my foot so far up his ass. What did this guy eat growing up? He has lost his marbles. Damn. Chicken bread and some Coca Cola. That's that's the good stuff. Oh, it's so good. Oh, they're gonna go visit his wife. Let's do to oh, bless her. I'm thinking I love you. I'm thinking I don't know what I would do if you were gone. Mm. Oh. Is that real love, bro? Well, you sure do know how to cook chicken. Well, thank you. This is one delicious treat, man. Oh, it's down, it's down south, isn't it? And, and southern folk are good at cooking, isn't it? What's it got to do with us? You're thinking about Melinda. Melinda? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. You really think you can help? It's not a bladder infection, or even a busted mouse. But you can heal people, man. Right? Talking about our jobs. Sneak a sick woman into a sale block? Oh, no, 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 no. Howard never stands for yeah. this. You know him. He wouldn't believe anything if it fell on him. 
Taking John Coffey to heart. Sneaking him out. Boozy move, boys. I'm I'm in, I'm in. Jaws, Paul. Our lives. Yeah. Dang right it is. No, not not for you, Dean. See now, the way I figure it, you stay back on the mile. That way you can deny everything. What do I have to stay behind? Our boys have grown up, gone off to school, hair is good, they're all married now. Brutal's a single man. You're the only one here with two children, another one on the way. Yeah, it's your future, Let's man. not discuss this as if we're thinking. Of <laughs> he's like, <laughs> he's like, hey, bro, look, I ain't gonna. I... <laughs> he's like, hey, look, 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 I didn't sign up to this. I got kids. They might be old, but I still got a wife. I got all of this. Nah, that's funny. That's funny. I don't think you did it at all. I do not see God putting a, a gift like that in the hands of a man to kill a child. Wait, wait, what did he say? Oh my god, oh shit. Oh shit. Nah, bro. Think I just had a brainwave. We about to do nah nah, I'm taking off the glasses. So he keeps saying, right, when he's about to heal someone, he takes it back. He's like, this bad stuff's happening to you, and he takes it back. I'm guessing he takes it away. It's kind of like the reverse of like a sponge soaking up. A sponge has soaked up all the all the water, and he like reverses that so it dries. I don't know. Maybe something had already happened to the girls and he found them and wanted to take it back, but it was too late. So that's why he was even more upset. That's why he was holding them in the first place. That's why he was saying, it's, I, I wanted to take it back, but it was too late. It's just his speech. It's the way he says it. But obviously, to people who probably speak better English than him, it's kind of like he's implicating himself in the act. It's like, I just picked up this phone. But I wanted to take it back or like, you know what I'm saying? Is that, is that what they're trying to insinuate? Oh my goodness. And plus, he's huge. Massive, bro. Away. Take a lot of bullets to stop him. Oh, we'd all have shotguns. Uh, yeah. I'd assist on that. Oh, man. You understand? Oh, it's annoying as well. It's very proposing. But from an emotional standpoint, I can resonate with what they want to do. Like, you know, I agree with them. I'm Obviously, I'm empathetic to um, his friend and his friend's wife and stuff like that. But on paper, that just seems crazy. Like, look at the guy. He's like 6 foot 50, 300 pounds. I don't even know. He's literally an X-Men character, bro. Like... Yeah, see, if I didn't know these guys and you brought this plan to me, I'd call you crazy. But sadly, I do know these guys, so... <laughs> it looks like we got a brain tumor to heal. I really like his character, Bruce. Or is it Bruce? So, tell us what you have in mind. I like it. No, sorry for pausing. I like the brotherly or camaraderie like, that they have amongst them. Like, outside of them just being work buddies and stuff. And they genuinely care about each other. They're listening to each other. They're... I don't know, it's just nice to see, man, honestly. Are they gonna drug him, put him to sleep, and then carry him there? That would make more sense, to be honest. I don't know. <laughs> and it's funny, too, like, in a charming way. Bro, what are you reading? Pierce, Percy, whatever his name is, he's a sick guy, bro. Come on now, fellas. Come on, <laughs> boss. I mean, I've been mean, good all Yeah, yeah. But he can sense shit. He's like. Is that beer? That looks like Coke. Oh, he's gonna do some weird shit, like pour it back in their face or something. <laughs> Playing the cut. <coughs> Disgusting. Dude. Okay, okay. Yeah, you make me sick. He's gonna do something funny. Okay, that was easy. Okay, I don't think he's asleep. They literally tranquilized him, bro. The f Guess we're all in. Oh, but this guy. 
Yeah, they weren't even gonna drug him. What is this? Send a fire. Payback. <laughs> they gagged him too. Oh, this is just poor. This is justice, bro. I'll give you a few hours of quiet time, Percy, so you can reflect on what you did to Dale. Ooh. Showtime. All right, let's go over one more time. What do you say if somebody stops by? Kicking a fuss in there, they think it's him. What about me? Ooh, that's a genius. That's a good move. I'll take y'all a few hours for you back. He is so bad. <laughs> Why the f is he not asleep? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? <laughs> What's good, bro? <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> Did he take away his, his badness or something? No, sir. What did he do? You're a bad man. This, this is a really good performance from him. I didn't know he had this kind of range in his bag. What's he doing? I think this is also a testament to the amount of faith and trust they have in, in John. Obviously they have shotguns, but like, they haven't even like restrained him or anything. They just trusted that he'll come along and be. All right, big boy, let's get moving, come on. How are they gonna sneak into his house though without him knowing? John, you stay. He's gonna go and distract him? Harry, you keep John here till we call you. This is tense. Whew. I really don't want them to get caught, bro. Because they're really just trying to do a good thing. Who the hell goes there at 2.30 in the goddamn Ow. morning? John Coffey. Halt! Al, you stay right where you are. Relax now. Take it easy now. Don't you move. Wait. Hey, chill, big bro. Chill, John. Chill, bro. Hey, put the gun down, bro. Put the gun down. Just be quiet now. Well, I'm nervous, bro. Because I don't want this to like go left or something. Like I have a lot of faith in John, but I think my theory about him is right. But still, like I just don't want it to, you know, mistakes happen. And like, um, and like what? What's his name? Was saying Paul was saying, an infection, a wounded mouse is a lot different to a freaking brain tumor. Do you know what I mean? So does his do his powers have limits? That kind of stuff. What? <laughs> you be still now. You be so quiet, so still. Is he gonna, is he gonna kiss her? Why is he kissing her? Oh, because he needs to like suck it out or like. Yeah, bro, this is what we were saying, bro. Jesus Christ. I tease it, bro, this is some Charles Xavier Wolverine type shit, bro. Whoa. Okay, so there's a correlation between the feedback of like what he's doing and like how big it, like how difficult it is. And... But what's the effect on him though? Does he not like take a toll? Is that why he has the scars? Bro. How did I get here? We were going to the hospital. Oh, that's the last thing she remembers. Did I have the x-ray? Did I? <laughs> yes. It was clear. Mm. There was no tumor. Mm. Take it, John. It's a present. 
Oh, he doesn't look too good. Okay, so mission accomplished, kinda. Now you deserve to be punished for what you did to Dale. You accepted like a man. Or else we'll make you saw you ever born. Long overdue, bro. Long overdue. What happens on a mile stays on a mile. Like mile. Always has. Always will. Hey, all square, bro. Square, bro. And he's crying, bro. Little baby. We'll talk. So no later. Hey, Joe. Hey, coffee, bro. Hey, bro. Bro. Oh, he's gonna put it into him? That is dark, bro. That's as dark as it gets, bro. That's as dark as it gets, bro. But it's for Dale. It's for Dale, bro. Equivalent exchange, bro, is the basis of the universe. An eye for an eye. That's crazy. Because he let Dale cook. Is that why he was holding it this whole time? For Dale? He gave him the tumor, no way. What's going on with him? You good, bro? Boy, what you looking at? This is bad timing, bro. You wanna what? suck my dick? He's not in the right, bro. He's crying, bro. What's going on? But the, what the fuck? Oh shit! Jesus Christ. Oh shit. Okay, so he left him in the end. So did he, did, oh, I'm confused. So did John make him do that? Or did he make him do bad things? What did he do? I punished them bad men. I punished them both. Mm. I saw in his heart when he grabbed my arm. I saw what Wild Billy done. Mm. You see for yourself. Huh? No. Please. Paul puts a lot of trust in John, man. The gift of what's inside of me, so you can see for yourself. <laughs> He's the one who did it to the kids. It was Wild Bill. No way was it him. No way was it him. Oh, please don't show me anything fucked up, man. I really don't want to see kids doing anything messed up. I, like, I get this is a movie and stuff, but let's just keep it. There it is, the tattoo. It was him. It was him. I knew this shit, bro. I work here now for one day. Come get you some supper. Bastard, man. Oh, yeah, he had to die, bro. He had to die for real. <laughs> Fuck me, man. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I don't need to see this, bro. I don't need to see this, bro. You're making a noise. Oh, happens. Jesus Christ. I don't want to. I don't want to. I, I don't, don't want to hear none of this shit, bro. You're making a noise. Oh, I don't want to. I, I just don't need none of this, bro. Look, Karma's a bitch, bro. Now he's he's the one in the, in the straight suit. Doped up on drugs. That's what he gets. There's only one. So he's innocent. I, to I told you guys, bro. These stories, I, I mean, from when he was a slow burner, you know, like what Optimus Prime said, there was more to this than meets the eye. I knew there was. <laughs> Did I just call Optimus Prime? <laughs> oh, man. Ah, oh, but John's innocent, man. And now it's probably eating him up that he knows the truth, and there probably isn't anything he can do to. Just smile. Ah, oh, bless him, man. So, as I said, John just found the gold and wanted to take it back, but he couldn't. Given his size, 
his race in those times, bro. Talk to Jenny. Hmm. Find out what he did. Hmm. Is there anything special you want to eat for dinner that night? Can rustle you up most anything. Cornbread roll. Meatloaf be nice. Mashed taters, gravy, okra, maybe some of that fine cornbread you missed. Yeah, I told you, bro. John, I have to ask you something very important now. I know what you're going to say. You don't have to say it. No, I do. I do have to say it. Tell me what you want me to do. You want me to take you out of here? Just let you run away? See how far you could get? On the day of my judgment, when I stand before God and he asks me why did I, did I kill one of his true miracles, what am I going to say? Oh, man. Mm. I know you're hurting in word. I can feel it on you. Mm. Ah, they got me, bro. Woo. These damn allergies came back. Man, seeing that kind of like internal struggle that some people have, especially in his position, because like it's so hard for him to do the right thing to try and save John. Like it's just, just life is shit like that. Not not even to be like all oh, life, but like you know what I mean. Like it's just in those situations, you're just you're just angry at everything. You just don't know what to do. It's just, man. I'm tired, boss. Tired of being on the road, lonely as a sparrow in the rain. I'm tired of never having your buddy to be with. Tell me where we was going to. Come and thump my ride. Mostly I'm tired of people being ugly to each other. Mm. I'm tired of all the pain you feel and hear in the world every day. Because mm. you can feel it all. Well, there must be something we can do for you, John. There must be something that you want. Never see me a flicker show. Oh, a flicker show. So like a tea. Okay. And this was what they showed him. So that's why when he saw it, he was. Oh, bless him, man. Bro, my heart is heavy. This is just like. Bless him, man. Honestly. I'm gonna look up this song because it sounds so familiar to me. Is it a popular song? Am I just not in the mix? Am I out? Am I not in the know? Is it, is it today already? They don't show that. No, no, we can't. Oh, he's even wearing the the appendage there. Oh man. Be all right, fellas. This here's the hard part. Hmm. I'll be all right in a little while. Mm. John, I should have this just a minute. Oof. I'll give it back after. That Mousefield place. I dreamed of his kids <laughs> and highly laughed at his tricks. <laughs> I dreamed those two little blonde headed girls there. They's laughing too. I put my arms around them and set them on my knees. Oh man, these allergies. <laughs> they be, uh, these allergies be allergy. -ing. There's lots of folks here hate me. Lots. You can feel it. I can feel it. Mm. It's like bees stinging me. I feel how we feel that. But we don't hate you. Mm. Bro, bro, I've been... Th this guy, I, f I said he's my favorite character, and this is why. I wish there was a way he could show them. Or does he show them all in the... I hope he shows them, like... Oh, man. I can't keep build up to wipe my tears, bro. I need to watch the film. Please, bro. Are you scared of the dark? Don't put that thing up on my face. Don't put me in the dark. I'm afraid of the dark.
Crazy, bro. Oof. It was the last execution I ever took part in. I just couldn't do it anymore after that. It was brutal either. We both transferred out, took jobs with. Just painful. You feel up to taking a walk? Come over here, boy. Come on over here and see this lady. So did he? He kept Mr. Jingles. Monsieur and Madame. Bienvenue or Cirque de Mousy. I don't get it. Is that, is that Mr. Jingles? The, the, rat, the mouse, the, the mice lived that long? I don't... Whatever magic was inside of him just slipped into my tiny friend here. Okay. As for me, John had to give me a part of himself. A gift, the way he saw it. Okay. So that I could see for myself what Wild Bill had done. Mm -hmm. When John did that, Mm-hmm. A part of the power that worked through him spilled into me. Okay. He infected you with life? Infected you with love. Infected us both, didn't he, Mr. Jingles? With life. With life? Is that why he's lived so long? I'm 108 years old. Jesus Christ. I was 44 the year that John Coffey walked the Green Mile. I've had to see my friends and loved ones die off through the years. Mm. And you were late. You will die too. I think mean, he'll be on his own. It's my atonement, you see. It's my punishment. Oh, man. Coffee ride the lightning. Oh, man. And he's still alive. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Where you been? Hmm? Been worried about you, boy. You hungry? And so he's kept Mr. Jingles the whole time. That, yeah. Because I was saying, I don't think rats and mouse lived that long. If he could make a mouse live so long, imagine what he could do. How longer do I have? We each owe a death. There are no exceptions. But oh God, sometimes the Green Mile seems so long. Man, that was a heavy film, bro. I don't even, I don't even feel like I need to speak too much on the outro or anything. I just, however much I waited to start this film, I wait like double maybe even triple that now jesus man i thought this was gonna be some upbeat fun detective tom hanks you know he's he has that kind of witty i mean he did he was funny in bits in this film but you know what i'm saying he went one of those type of films nah this was just deep bro <laughs> deep man oh it, it, it was just a very i don't know like pure and beautiful story and they don't really tell stories like this anymore like there always has to be a I don't know, like there always has to be like a selling point. They don't just tell stories for there to be. I don't know, I don't know if I'm just chatting shit. <laughs> oh, I feel delirious when, you know, when these allergies kick in and my head gets a bit fuzzy and stuff. That was just a good film. I need to recommend that to people because if I haven't heard of Green Mile, I doubt they would have because they would have told me if I'd watched this, if they'd watched some film. Um, that was just a good film, bro. Really good film. I love the acting, I love the actors. Like I said at the start, I. I looked at like the runtime and I saw three hours and I was like, okay, it's a bit long, but the movie took its time building up. I think for the first arc or the first, if you split it into three, for the first hour, we didn't really see much of John Coffey. We just kind of saw the other characters and just a bit of world building and setting the tone and pace. So it kind of made you all become very comfortable with where they were. You became very familiar with the Green Mile, with the people who worked there, their lives, what was going on. And then it started to unravel the, the kind of, the real tone of the of the movie and throw all the good like john coffee did 
he didn't even ask for anything back in return literally literally like it was like a kind deed just because he can do you know what i mean so like paul was saying a genuine angel <laughs> that type of stuff um he didn't know how to do anything else he said he even said himself i don't know much about anything else but he did know about people feelings and you know tried to help and heal people it's just it's one of them ones where it's like the world just wasn't ready for him because even he was saying like what i saw here was everywhere because you obviously you can feel it and as soon as i saw him with the girls I, I paid close attention because speech and how you say things especially way back then is very important so when he was saying stuff like i tried to take it back even i for the first time thought he was talking about what he had done what he had done something and tried to take it back but it was simply just the bad stuff in the world he tries to take back away from people so he must have found the girls the other guy must have run you know hightailed out of there he must have found the girls he must have found the girls and then tried to take it back but obviously he was just hurting and was just saying it's too late and as i said during the film given his size the you know undeniable evidence the fact that he's black during those times it just was a recipe for disaster so yeah that was just a sad film bro i kind of wanted to start this year off on the channel with like a with the film i thought was upbeat but damn that shit beat my ass <laughs> that shit beat the fuck out of me bro oh my goodness but yeah really good film whoever suggested this to me i'm watching you i'm gonna find the comment i'm gonna find your name I'm gonna keep every suggestion you drop now. I'm gonna I'm I'm side eye it before I watch it because Bro just threw me in the deep end. No prompt, no nothing, no. What do you think? Is that this was a good film? This is a real good film. Ugh. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>